Hey, Snails here. In this series, we'll be covering the fundamentals of Hammer++, such as navigating in Hammer, what each tool does, how to utilize each tool, and settings within Hammer for a better user experience. So, what is Hammer++? Hammer++ is a free, extensive modification of Valve's Hammer editor for the Source Engine, with the premise of being a more stable, up-to-date version, with many bug fixes and several improvements present in modern level editors. I'll also be sure to put the Hammer++ download link in the description. Alright, now that we're in Hammer, you may notice that everything is grayed out. That's because we haven't made a file to create the map yet. In order to do that, it's quite simple. Just click File in the top left, and select New. Now that we have a file made, we can start working in Hammer. But first, let's go over some settings by heading up to Tools, and selecting the Options button. A window titled Configure Hammer++ should have came up. Next, go to the General tab, and change Undo Levels to around 100. Also make sure Autosave is enabled by ticking this box. You may also want to change the time between saves to around 15 to 20 minutes, but this is personal preference. Next, click the 3D Views tab. You'll see three panels, one for performance, two for navigation, and three for general. I recommend copying my performance panel, however my settings might not work for you if you have a lower end PC. The navigation panel and the general panel are both user preference. Finally, let's click the Hammer++ tab. This tab is dedicated for new settings in Hammer++. All of these settings are user preference, but I do recommend you set FPS limit to the refresh rate of your monitor for a smoother experience. We can now press OK, and your settings will be saved. Now let's move on to the four views and how they work. The first view is your camera view. This view allows you to see a 3D view of your map. The second view is your top view. This is a 2D view on the X and Y axis. The third view is a front view. This is a 2D view on the Y and Z axis. Finally is your side view. This is a 2D view on the X and Z axis. If you don't like how the views are set up, you can easily change them like this. You can also resize the views like this. Now let's move on to the final portion of the introduction where we'll learn how to navigate the four views. In your camera view, you may notice you can't look around. In order to use the camera view, you have to hover your mouse inside the view and press the Z key. Now you can look around the 3D view. Press the Z key again to leave that view. Next is the three 2D views. They all work the same, so I'll demonstrate inside the top view. Hold down on the scroll wheel to move around inside the view. You can also scroll in and out to increase or decrease your view on the grid. You can also change the grid size from 1 to 512 with the bracket keys to get finer control of brushes. We'll talk about brushes later in Chapter 1 of this series. Now that you've made it to the end of the introduction video, you should have a better understanding of using Hammer. If you liked this tutorial, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to see you in Chapter 1, where we'll learn how to make and manipulate brushes. Bye for now!